There was a time when you'd be presented with a gold watch in recognition of years of loyal service to your employer. Today, you're more likely to get a personalised memento cast in acrylic. Companies and organisations often choose to hand out custom-made acrylic awards to recognise milestones or special achievements. These aren't your run-of-the-mill plaques and trophies, but more like artistic sculptures. They're custom designed and cast in high-grade acrylic. In the casting department, workers make acrylic by mixing monomer, a clear liquid chemical, with polymer, a resin powder. Once cured, this thick white mixture will be crystal clear. To make coloured acrylic, they add colourants. By creatively combining shades, they can even produce special effects, such as a marble or granite look. To cast simple shapes with straight lines, they use disposable moulds made of thick cardboard. This design calls for a blue base, so they pour blue acrylic to the first fill line. In two to three hours, the acrylic hardens to a gelatin-like state. That's solid enough to bear the weight of the next layer, a clear one, which they pour to the next fill line. Now, another two or three hour wait until the acrylic can support a decorative object, in this case, a globe. Once they ensure it's properly centred, they pour acrylic to the next fill line and wait two to three hours again. Now they apply the client's name and logo printed on acetate and pour the final layer. Once that hardens, it's off to the curing department. There, workers load the pieces into a pressurised oven called an autoclave. It works like a pressure cooker, forcing out the trapped air bubbles and curing the acrylic until it's rock hard and transparent. This takes 12 to 15 hours. Metal moulds are used to create curved designs like this. The factory always casts a piece slightly larger than its final dimensions to allow for shrinkage during the curing process and some loss through sanding. Workers sand each piece three times with progressively finer sandpaper to perfect the shape. Then to remove the marks that sanding leaves behind, they buff the piece on a cloth covered wheel. Then they polish the piece with an even softer wheel. This shines the acrylic to a high gloss finish. When it's not viable to make a mould for a particular shape, they cast a starting shape, then machine it to the final shape. To make a sphere, for example, they first cast a cube, then transform the cube into a cylinder, then working one side at a time into a perfect sphere. The automated tooling equipment is all computer guided for ultimate precision. Some designs call for additional artistic features. For example, the factory can print artwork on paper, acetate or a metal plate, then embed it in the acrylic. Another option is to create an opaque image on the surface. As we see here, once they finish machining the sphere, they apply tape that's been laser cut into the shape of a world map. They sandblast the exposed areas, transforming the sphere into a globe. They can also engrave the surface of a piece or using a special laser beam, etch letters or a design right inside the acrylic. The creative possibilities are endless. The infinite combinations of shapes, colours, embedded objects and artistic features make these acrylic awards highly customised and clearly unique. <laughs>